Are you spending your time toggling back and forth between HubSpot and LinkedIn because you're not quite sure who's in your CRM and who's not? Well, in this video, I'm gonna show you a tool that will help make that a lot easier and streamline your process. Welcome to HubSpot Hacks, where we help you get more out of HubSpot. When you're doing sales prospecting and managing details in your HubSpot CRM, LinkedIn is most likely a part of your strategy. But when you're prospecting over on LinkedIn, it can be difficult and cumbersome to find the person you're looking for. And especially if you have a large sales team, you head over to your CRM and you search for the person to see if they're in there. That way you're not doubly prospecting the same person. But all that back and forth can be really, really inefficient when it comes to managing your process. So thankfully there is a plugin or an integration called Link Match that makes this a lot easier. What you do is you sync this with your HubSpot account and then you can see which prospects are already in your HubSpot account and which are not. So let's dive in and show you how this works. So first you're gonna visit linkmatch.net and you'll click log in. And from here, you can see that it's gonna give you an option for which type of CRM you have. In this case, we are clicking on the HubSpot options. So when we do that, we're gonna say, you know what, it's not installed yet. So when we click link match for HubSpot, it's going to bring up a page that the way that this works is actually a Chrome extension. So we're gonna click add to Chrome and I'd like to add the extension. Okay, so now I'm going to sign in with HubSpot. All right, and we wanna be able to give um, the permissions to HubSpot that we need um, for link match to integrate. All right, so now we are matched. I will go ahead and give permissions. Fantastic. Okay, so one of the first things you want to do when you set up this link match is you wanna to go to parsing options. So in the description, I'm actually going to include a link to link matches, um, how to video as far as setting up the parsing options. But we wanna be able to tell HubSpot and LinkedIn which fields map together from the LinkedIn interface over to the HubSpot interface. So if we've got an email here, that one's pretty straightforward. The email over in LinkedIn is the email over in HubSpot. But some of the other things become a little bit more um, detailed. So for instance, if someone has their birthday on LinkedIn publicly available, you can create a field inside of HubSpot to go ahead and sync over their birthday. So right now inside of my HubSpot account, we don't have a field for birthday. And so I can't actually drag this over. Oh, you know what? Never mind. We do have a field. So I'm gonna click on birthday and I'm gonna drag this over here so that if I choose to parse this information from LinkedIn over to HubSpot, we can see that there is a birthday there. All right, let's go to LinkedIn and actually see how this works then. Okay, so we are going to search for a coworker of mine. Okay, so now that we are integrated inside of Link Match, what you can actually see is this little green check mark. So the little green check mark shows me that this person is in fact inside of my CRM. So if I click on this green check mark, what it's going to do is it's going to pull up the HubSpot profile for this individual. And again, the information that you just looked at over in the parsing area is the information that we can pull from this specific profile. So I can choose to attach a LinkedIn picture to this, which is great, that pulls it right from LinkedIn. I can choose to add his first name, his last name. We've got all sorts of emails here. I can add, parse over any information here that might be available in his profile. And when I click save, it's gonna save all of that information over to my LinkedIn. So if you look for somebody who's not currently in your LinkedIn profile, so we'll just search a random name that we might be able to see um, how this looks for someone on the other end. Okay, so it looks like we've got this particular individual here. We've got a um, red check mark, which means he is not in HubSpot. So if I clicked add to HubSpot, what that does is it opens up a window that allows me to add contact information. We're still loading. Okay, so then it goes, it went ahead and pulled information from the profile, gave it to me here, and I can click create, and it's gonna create a contact record over in HubSpot with this information from LinkedIn. So again, what it does is makes it really, really, really easy for you to be prospecting over on LinkedIn and make sure that you're not duplicating information over in your HubSpot CRM or causing issues with your team as you try to collaborate on the same targets in the same market, because you're probably looking up the same people. 
So that's it. If you want to go ahead and check it out, head over to linkmatch.net and get started over there. If you want more information about it or if you want to check out a special offer we have for you, look at the description below. There's some uh, affiliate links down there for you. And again, there's a lot of how-to videos on the Link Match channel as well that will help you get started. For more tips, tricks, and how-tos, hit that subscribe button. Let us know if there's a topic you'd like us to cover specifically to sales outreach or sales process. We'd be happy to help and we'll see you next week.